Hey guys, what's up? It's Jules here for WhatCulture.com and I want to talk to you today about death. And more specifically, I want to talk to you about the death of many TV shows recently as there's been a huge Hunger Games style culling going on across the board. Luckily, shows like Brooklyn Nine-Nine have just been saved. Thank you, NBC, for that one. But unfortunately, there have been a lot that just simply didn't make the cut. So today I'm going to go through 15 of those who just couldn't cut the mustard. And apologies if I sound a bit off today, I've got a mouth ulcer and it sucks. Number 15, Quantico. Now this thriller was already on borrowed time, which is a bit ironic considering how many timelines this show has, and it just scraped by onto season two after losing half of its followers after season one. Now it had an interesting central mystery, but many felt that this had naturally concluded by the end of the season. So season two was a bit of a non plus non fuss event. Anyway, it's gone. Number 14, Life sentence. So this show was about a woman whose terminal cancer was cured and she had to live up to the choices that she made while living every day as her last. It was fairly okay, but unfortunately not enough to save it and the plug has been pulled. Ooh, that's a bit dark. Number 13, Rise. Now, NBC had high hopes for this show originally and it got a big push from the Winter Olympics, but unfortunately, not even Josh Radner could save this one from sinking. Number 12, The Mick. So The Mick is basically like a black comedy in which Caitlin Olsen plays D, but in a different scenario in that she's living with rich people instead of very poor, very aggressive Irish people. It was okay, but the problem was is that it just reminded you how good Always Sunny is and how much we want those episodes more. Number 11, Valor. The writing was on the wall for this war drama, unfortunately, as the network did not want to extend season one to give it additional episodes, and after four months in hiatus, was given its marching orders. Number 10, Alex Inc. Now this could have been great because it had Zach Braff in and the original Scrubs producer teaming up for the first time in absolutely ages, but unfortunately, the critics just didn't see anything worthwhile and neither did the people, so they just didn't watch. That, I mean, how, how else can, how many times can I explain why a show got cancelled? It's either going to be money, people didn't watch, or critics mauled it. Let's see. Let's see how many different times I can say that. Number nine, Kevin can wait. Kevin can go f*** off. Number eight, Inhumans. Oof, this one stung for most Marvel fans as this received more of a mauling than the Hulk trying to finger someone. It just got absolutely decimated by critics and... According to some sources, because this has now been cancelled after eight episodes, the Inhumans don't actually exist in the MCU as it stands. It was that bad. They've been written out of existence. Number seven, Taken. Why Taken was made into a TV show is beyond me, and you have some seriously big boots to fill trying to follow Liam Neeson's kicky, drivey, action-packed flicks. The only thing taken about this is that it was taken out to pasture. Ha 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 ha. Ah, oh, puns I've got them, eh? At least I make myself laugh. Number six, Last Man on Earth. Now I am absolutely fuming about this one, genuinely, because Will Fort's funny, abstract, surrealist comedy deserves so much more love than this. Genuinely gutted. Oh farts indeed. Number five, The Exorcist. Now this TV sequel to the 1973 cult horror classic actually started off pretty well with season one, but unfortunately the scares didn't really materialize and the entire viewership dropped off for season two and the network then said boo to this ghost. Number four, great news. Bad news, it's been canceled. Number three, Designated Survivor. When you've got four different showrunners across two seasons, your quality and your consistency is gonna take a hit and unfortunately Unfortunately, that's what happened to this. Not even Big Chief Kefo Sutherland could save this one. Number two, Lucifer. Now, Lucifer has a really loyal fan base and was quite outspoken when this was cancelled. Unfortunately, it just didn't get the numbers in to keep it going, even though it got more than Gotham did. Go figure. And number one, The Expanse. Well, this sucks. Season three of this show received 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Like, it's a really good TV show and it kind of doesn't make any sense why it's being cut. Oh wait, no, yes it does because it didn't make enough money and it only pulled in about 500,000 viewers per episode which really isn't much. Hopefully though, another streaming service will save this and we will be able to once more go venture into the big cold embrace 
of space. And there we go, those are 15 TV shows that have just been cancelled, delivered to you by some mush-mouthed foreigner. Apologies again if my pronunciation was a bit off, my tongue is as swollen as my own ego. Speaking of which, go follow us on Twitter at whatculture.com. That's not even the Twitter handle, is it? At whatculture, at whatculture WWE, at whatculture comics, whatculture gaming, at RetroJ. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. And as always, I've been Jules, you've been awesome, and I'll speak to you soon. Mwah. <laughs> well, that was great, I agree. You can subscribe down here, check out some more of our videos over here, or check out some of our other channels right here.